Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is November 17. Uh, I'm going to do a bonus extra question because the other one was kind of silly. Uh, so, yeah, and number theory. Maybe I should have talked about the number theory a little bit more. Anyway, I'm going to do an extra bonus question just to kind of, you know, uh, flex my muscle a little bit. Um, and I don't have, pre I, maybe I should have premium. If you think I should have premium, let me know. Maybe you can donate to the cost. I, I don't know. I just kind of have a thing about, I don't know. Um, okay, so today's problem is 93, restore IP addresses. So it's a medium, and it looks like it's going to be a recursion problem. And it's um, 20, and I am reading it really fast. I haven't seen this before because I've only saw, you know, on the bonus questions, I only saw the ones I haven't seen. But given n is equal to 20, you immediately know that this is proof forcible um, because because there's between 20 numbers or 20 digits rather um there's only gonna be 19 spaces between them and you can do 2 to the 19 and then just you know check for all these rules it'll be not 20 times 2 to the 19 uh or 20 times 2 to the 19 number of work and that's like uh what is that happen 10 million so maybe i mean you have, probably have to be a little bit smarter but or at least not use python but um but you know it's gonna be fast enough, or at least there's a a, a route there. Um, we're gonna do a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so okay. I just kind of guessed at the problem. I didn't really read it, but it seems like it validates what I'm saying, which is that given a thing, you just figure out how, how many ways to parse it. And of course, you know we'll see if it passes in Python. But the outside, the size of the output is already going to, and that's not actually true. I kind of lied about it. 2 to the 19 upper bound because there's only four periods so it's not quite 2 to the 19 but i'm just thinking like in my head like okay well even if that's the case where it's 2 to the 19 then that's good but actually it's, in this case then it's 19 choose 4 right or 19 choose 3 to um to put the dots right so you have 19 slides you choose, choose 3 and actually if you do the math on 19 choose 3 and this is on my head it's on the order of 19 to the cube it's less than that. It's actually like 19 times 18 times 17 over 6 or something like that, if you want to do the thing. But, um, which is going to be less than 19 cubed is what I'm saying. Um, so definitely that is very fast. And so you can do it any other way. And that's like the brute force way, right? And that's basically, if you ask me about how to analyze it, this is how I would analyze it if it's worth doing brute force, kind of making that progression of, okay, is the, what, what is one worst case? Well, 2 to the 19 times 20 for each of the digits. And then now, next one is actually just 19 t choose 3 um, times 20, I guess, also for each digit. But that's, you know, 20 cube is what, like 80,000 maybe? 8,000, 80,000? Uh, no, 8,000, right? 8,000 times, times 20 is going to be, you know, fast enough. Uh, was that 160? Okay, something like this. Yeah. So yeah, so let's kind of get started. And that's pretty much it. Brute force is the answer. Um, I'm going to just do it kind of old school way. And which is, um, and there's all additional constraints. So it's not purely 9 choose 3, but I'm saying even 19 choose 3 is valid. Um, because In the sense that, uh, in the sense it has to be between 0 and 255, which means that you can, each dot has to be at most three digits away, stuff like that. So there are additional constraints that makes it way um, advantageous to do it for, in a top-down recursive kind of way. So let's kind of get started. I mean, I think maybe I've said enough. So uh, yeah, I just got to go because I'm lazy. Um, and then just like a current array and then the index, maybe index and current. I like it this order better. Um, and then if index is equal to four, oh no, no, no. This, if length of current is equal to four, or mm, uh, if index is equal to n, then something like n's dot append uh, point, oops, current, um, and then return. Else, we just return, I guess, because we don't have we didn't use all the digits. Is the po is the point there? And then otherwise, we just something go like, um, mm, so for L is in range of, say, from 1 to 3, so 4 inclusive, or exclusive, sorry. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, so something like, 
uh, go index plus L um, current mm, and then maybe something like index index plus L. I may be off by one or two or whatever here, but you get the idea, right? So that's basically kind of the um, the thing. Um, of course, we didn't actually check. Um, we didn't actually check you know this is um this is a routed address and can now have leading zero so we have to add some if statements here but that's basically the core of the idea let's actually run it real quick just so that i you know i can i know that in this case it'll return more answers than i have and it won't have the right answer but it the answers should be consistent with my understanding of it and it seems to be true Right, because now it has five two to five, which we don't validate, so that's why I think it's good. So I think we're on the right path, even if we didn't have the right answer, right? So that's that's good. Uh, okay. So then here we do some if statement. So if x is equal to zero and length of x is equal to one, then we continue. That means that we have a leading zero. So oh, it, if length is greater than one, right? Because we have a leading zero. Oh. Uh, I, I, I think I said zero and then I confused it. Um, yeah, right, because we have a leading zero. Um, I think one thing I have to check is also if index plus L is, I, I, if we also can, oh, well, we break in this case, I suppose. And also in this case, we break because it doesn't matter. The, this, will, this won't change and this will get bigger, so we can break. Um, and then the other thing is if uh, int of X is between zero and 255 then we do this this is i kind of wrote in a yucky way but you know, the idea is still kind of the same we could have used the walrus app operator we want but um so this looks good it's possible that we miss some edge cases but on these things uh i am going to be a little bit lazy so yeah uh, i think one more case that we can do though that's a low thing is just like a lot of ones i think but not full, just enough that it gives maybe a big answer. Yeah, just, I mean, this isn't even that big. And then maybe one impossible case. Uh, I'm still getting used to the GUI a little bit. Just to make sure that I return nothing correctly, because that's not in one of the inputs. Okay, so that looks good. Let's give it a submit. Um, yeah. We kind of already talked about the complexity, so I'm not going to dwell on it that much, but this is going to be at worst, let's just say 19 choose three or n choose three, if you want to say that, which is n cube, o, a big O notation, um, where n is at most 20. Um, but that's given these constraints, and of course you can probably narrow it down more if you're really smart about it, but I don't know, I, I think that's good enough for me, so yeah. Um, cool, that's pretty much all I have for this one. So let me know what you think. Let me know uh, if you've done this problem with me, if you did this problem with me and you stayed to this end of this video. Uh, give a comment below. I'll give you mad props. Wing Blue Walker glasses. So yeah, anyway, whew, that's all I have. So stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.